Hello guys and welcome back to our channel VS Codes. So today I'm going to discuss a second problem of a course shelf long challenge that is positive and before going to that problem let me make you very clear that uh, if you are just a beginner don't watch this video first try it yourself then come to this video if you are not able to do that so uh, as i got uh, many comments in the last video that why have you made this video during the challenge uh, many will come just to copy and they'll paste the code there and get the ranks uh, so the people doing uh, with their work uh, they'll feel sad or their ranks will go down this will this is harassing or this is cheating so firstly try to solve it yourself and then if you are facing any problem just come and watch the video uh, the solution is here i'll code it out but it's not just for that uh, you are coming copying pasting and done just do it by yourself first so the question is positive and and we are here to uh, i'm telling going to tell you a quick explanatory video of it so here it's given uh, permutation p1 p2 uh, to up to pn is beautiful if pi and p i plus 1 is greater than 0 okay so pi and pi plus 1 should be greater than 0 and between the uh, range i sh i should be greater than equals to 1 less than n so we have to construct a uh, sequence of permutations of a given number so that their bitwise and operation should come one simply uh, you need to understand the, the and operation uh, see as you take the and op uh, and operation of uh, 1 and 2 the and uh, the binary number of 1 is uh, 0, 0, 0, 0001 and uh, for 2 it's uh, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0010 so if you take uh, the and operation of it it will come 0 so uh, in the k uh, given question if it comes 0 uh, the output should be minus 1 so we need at least uh, two and operation uh, two ones to get the answer one. You might know that uh, and only gives one, uh, output one if both its operators are one. So similarly, we have to print the <coughs> uh, permutation uh, permutation series of the given inputs. So like here, it's given four. So if we uh, uh, take a just take a pen and paper and write the uh, permutations one two three four. So if you take the uh, permutation of 1 and 2, uh, it gives the answer 0. So if even one uh, operation comes 0, the answer will, uh, the answer come, output will be minus 1. So uh, let's take uh, 3. So it will be 1, 2 and 3. If we arrange 1, 3 and 3, 2. So uh, uh, the 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1 and... 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. So here you can see the last bit will come 1 and 3, 2. Uh, similarly, third bit will come 1. So here the 3 is passed. So we are printing 1, 3, 2. It's the sequence. Similarly, similarly for 5, permutations 2, 3 will come 1. 3, 1 will give it the answer 1. 1, 5 will give the answer 1 and 5, 4 will give the answer 1. So this is the sequence. If you try it for 6, 6 will also print the same. So let's uh, do it. If you have any queries, just comment down. I'll try to explain it again.
So our code is done here. I got few errors that I will tell you uh, in the coming portion. Uh, so you will you will have a runtime error. So to uh, resolve it, just click on custom input and type the inputs uh, that are recommended by Code Chef, like uh, the same uh, three, four, three, and five, and then run it. Uh, so you'll see that uh, uh, the output is coming exactly correct. Uh, then you can easily submit it. So I marked the errors that uh, I that came in the code. Uh, that has few semicolons, errors, basic errors. You can just see it and correct it in yours. So there are three corrections that you might uh, have to do that are in line 6, 7 and 8. And line 38. Just three basic error uh, corrections. So if you like the video uh, or it helped, you can just uh, subscribe and comment down if any queries. Stay tuned and please subscribe. Thank you.